I am a huge fan of the enemies to lovers trope and today I'm going to be counting down six of my favorite couples that play into this trope. I also wanted to highlight some couples that I haven't talked about recently, so um, there are going to be some sort of throwbacks in this one, which I'm excited for. <laughs> I don't think I should rank these uh, because I just love them all. First, first couple. <laughs> This might be a little bit controversial. It might be a little bit controversial, okay? But it's Bo and Tamsin from Lost Girl. And honestly, they were my OTP in Lost Girl. I am sorry, okay? I love Bo and Lauren, but Bo and Tamsin, oh, they got me. <laughs> so Tamsin was originally like thrown in to sort of uh, be a spy for the Dark Fae because they had suspected Bo of like killing Dark Fae. And uh, Bo and Tamsin, you know, we're, we're not very friendly towards each other at the start, but oh man, they had so much chemistry. And then there was like that episode where they got thrown back to like their teenage selves and they played spin the bottle and that was amazing. And then like, I just honestly, just watching Tamsin fall in love with Bo. Oh, I love it so much. Damn, she got me, you know? <laughs> I, to be honest, hated how they ended. Lost Girl. I really did. I feel like I'm like blocking season five out of my memory, to be honest. I'm refusing to acknowledge what happened. <laughs> but yeah, I the, the build up for Bo and Tamsin was, was just so good. Like there was just um, like, oh, good tension, good chemistry. Oh, 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 <laughs> they just had such good episodes. Like the one where they got thrown back as teenagers and then the one where they they, they were like repeating time, like the same day over and over again. <sighs> and then like, obviously like the bathtub scene where like Tamsin gets in the bath with Bo. Oh, oh, I don't know. That was just a good couple, a good couple. <laughs> Next couple is Casey and Izzy from Atypical. <laughs> I love these two. <laughs> They had a good build up, like from the get go, like from the initial like meeting. Izzy bloody hated Casey. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I do, but like it was just from the get go. It, oh, and again, it just leads to a great build up. It leads to a great, and they had such a good build up. It was like a build up to a build up to them getting together. Oh, I swear to God, them holding like pinkies in the car was like the most charged and most like intense scene like it's it was almost more intense than the like kiss scenes you know i don't know man casey and izzy oh god i love them i love them so much <laughs> and luckily for us unlike bo and tamsin which we are ignoring they actually had a pretty good ending like they had they obviously had their their um, drama, right? There was some downfalls, but it had a very sort of positive and hopeful ending for Casey and Iz Izzy, which um, is exciting. I mean, obviously we don't get any more, but I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I like a cute ending. Give me a cute ending. <laughs> Next couple on my list. Oh, these two, I love these two. Sarah and Ava from Legends of Tomorrow. Ooh, I haven't talked about them for a while. And you know what? I I don't know if it's just me, if anyone else feels this way, but typically when couples get together, I slowly like kind of lose interest. Like I love the build up to a relationship. That's my favorite part. And so while Sarah and Ava are absolutely gorgeous and hitting awesome milestones, like getting married and stuff like that, because they were like together, I was, I was like, they'd kind of like dropped off my radar a bit. But I do have to say, their build up to their relationship. Oh, one of my absolute favorites. I was obsessed with them during their sort of enemies phase. Oh my God. And like watching just Ava fall in love and just get all like giggly and she's got like a crush on Sarah. It was the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I loved their build up. They're, oh, dudes, that, the perfect build up. The perfect build up. <laughs> For those that like watching the relationships as, as they are relationships, right? That are just as invested when they get together as in before they get together, I'm sure like Sarah and Ava were like up there. But like I said, I, I'm such a fan of the build up to relationship. <laughs> couples get together I find another couple that's got to build up I don't know I don't know why I do this to myself but yeah Sarah and Ava god 
Oof. That, yeah. Uh, what more can I say? They just had amazing chemistry. And like, like they're both powerful chicks, right? They're both in charge on like, on opposite sides of the field, but then like, oh, clashing in the perfect way. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even. <laughs> Next couple is an Australian couple from a TV show called Wentworth. It is B and Ally. Oh my God, do I have so much to talk about B and Ally. I don't know. I feel like I have done a video on them like a while ago. I don't talk about their ending, okay? <laughs> B and Ally is, it, it's an interesting one because the show is like, places them in like a, a women's prison, right? So it's, it's based on a, you know, women in prison. <laughs> and B and Ali are kind of like on different sides, like different gangs, right? Their gangs are clashing. And so like, I think, I honestly think Ali was like, she was in, she was like fully in love with B from the get go. B was very like not trusting, standoffish, even like threw Ali against the wall at one stage and like, cut her head open. Yeah, it was, it was tense. So there was definitely some enemies to it, right? Even though I feel like Ali was just like, she was just here for whatever B wanted to do. <laughs> but again, that like tension and I, 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 it's just this trope. It leads to so much tension. It is so good. And like B, it was her sort of like discovering her sexuality and that side of, um, sexuality and romance and stuff like that. I think she'd kind of written it off when she went to prison, right? Like that wasn't gonna happen. Like she wasn't gonna find that connection again. Um, and then Ali came, oh, oh my God. I just, I absolutely loved them so much. And they had like an amazing storyline. And unfortunately in 2016, when everything was happening, all the, all the uh, barrier gays, you know, oh, they pissed me off with that one. They pissed me off. But God, it's just such a, like a good build up to watch. And like when they were together, it was a good watch when they were together as well. And you can watch like their storyline on YouTube. So if you haven't yet, yeah, go watch their storyline. Just, just ignore the ending. <laughs> Next up, speaking of 2016, we got to put Clark and Lexa in here. I haven't talked about them for ages. I feel like I, I don't talk about them. <laughs> because it hurts too much. <laughs> but you know what? We, we got to remember the good parts. And Clark and Lexa, enemies to lovers, golden, right? They, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, kind of similar. I mean, like they're, they're all the similar, right? They're from like two different parties that are clashing together and they're the two leaders and there's all oh, tension. They're trying to kill each other, right? And then they're, they're, they're not, they're kissing. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing more than surviving. Oh, I died. Like, I'm, I'm sure I've talked about this, right? I'm sure I've talked about this, but when Clark and Lexa got together, I died. It was amazing. I never thought it would actually happen in my dreams, but it happened. Oh, it was a good, it was a good build up. It was a good build up. Too bad they fucking just dropped the ball from there. <laughs> I mean, like, what more do I have to say about Clark and Lexa? Everyone, everyone knows Clark and Lexa and that story. We know it. We, we, we know, we know what's up. It's, it was a gorgeous build up. I loved it. I'm not, I'm not talking about anything else. <laughs> and my last couple on this list is April and Sterling from Teenage Bounty Hunters. I had to put them on there because I haven't talked about them in a while and goddamn, I'm missing them. I am missing them. <sighs> They were good enemies to love as build up. One of my favorite like reaction videos that I've done was to Teenage Bounty Hunters and April and Stella getting together. Ah, oh, it was so good. <laughs> I just loved the sort of realization on Sterling's side of her wants and her desires, right? And just like the, the confidence and like, April, April already knows. Like, she's like, I understand the situation I'm in. I understand the school that I'm in and the people that I'm surrounded with, but she is fully confident in her sexuality, in herself, in, yeah. Like in, I just, oh, I love them. I'm still so mad that they canceled it after one, like what the fuck? 
that would have been so good because like they they left it on like a, oh a tense part on a cliffhanger there was still so much to be answered and so much to dig into april and sterling's relationship oh man i'm still so mad <laughs> But that's six couples that I love that play into the enemies to lovers trope. Oh, it's so good. I mean, they're like, I honestly love any couple that play into the uh, enemies to lovers trope. So if you guys would like a second part to this video talking about more couples, let me know and I can do that because I honestly could talk about this trope all day. I love it. I love it. <laughs> But let me know who your favorite enemies to lovers couples are in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.